Welcome to the world of Space Haven. In this game, we've got four recruits here, and we're going to be starting a brand new colony in space. Mainly trying to survive, making the ship more functional. Right now, we have a bare essentials. We've got a few different characters here, all getting settled in. As you can see, they got their uh, space suits on. Right now, our storage is full. We have nowhere to relax, and we have no tools facility. On top of that, if we actually look at our resources, we have like nothing. We have no oxygen. We have four people on board we got at least 99 days of power no we have 8,000 days of power but to be fair i don't think we're powering like anything to start this mission let's begin with the tools facility one of the essential buildings okay i'm gonna put one right over here there's a little bit of room and then they're going to start bringing materials over there to build that now you can see they're all getting unpacked oh we got two days of oxygen okay thank the lord i was gonna say is everybody's heads going to explode like <laughs> we've got david forbes stella maris king of Corinth and Tom Foolery. I kind of picked their shirts out, like I color coded them off of the Wiggles, if you guys noticed that. Well, if you didn't, you did now. <laughs> okay, I thought it was pretty funny. Now we at least have a tools facility so we can build tools there. Now we need to build uh, optimal gas conditions. First, we need to build an oxygen generator and then a gas scrubber. So I'm going to put the oxygen generator in here. And then a gas scrubber that only takes up one space so i'm gonna put that right over here and i'll rotate it so it's uh facing the right way there we go so this is a colony sim obviously we've got a bunch of different things we can build there's going to be space pirates you know this is a sci-fi universe i've been really into the sci-fi games recently over in eve online i've been hitting a few of them and trying to get into like a few of them but a lot of them are really complex I'm hoping I'm able to survive in this one at least for a little bit. Get these four uh, crew members to a nice spot in life. And as you see, construction is beginning. Getting these things built up is <laughs> very similar to Kenshi, just the building. Imagine I just put that in the title. This game is like Kenshi, but in space. <laughs> That'd be like some nasty clickbait, dude. Now we need to build a thermal regulator. We can either build one that's on the ground or one that's attached to the wall. I think I'm going to put one attached to the wall right there. And they're bringing over the resources. It costs one infra block to make it. And we currently have 50 of those. So we at least got enough materials to get the base started. Stella Mars is just looking around like, huh, not a single place to sit. Nowhere to sleep. This sucks. <laughs> it is what you make it, okay? So King Corif's building the wall thermal. We got that set up. Now, let's just go into the next objective. We got to expand the spaceship's hull. The goal is to build a small hyperspace capable ship, then venture out and expand as more resources are required. So let's build another hull. We can't build in that area. I think that's our airlock, but we can build in any direction we want. So maybe let's uh, do like a five by five over there. Maybe I'll give it another piece of room so there's like actually five spaces in between. And let's see. So we're going out into these little uh like shuttles or something. I think they're going to go over there and try to build outside of a ship. I mean, one would assume that's how you got to do it. <laughs> let's see. He's going over here. Then what are we going to pop out? Or Oh, nice. Okay. They're building it up. The crew also requires beds. And a toilet, of course. Oh, no, we don't have a toilet. It's already been like half a day. Somebody's got to go by now. So perhaps once this room is actually set up, then I'll try to like a, uh, make it a specified bedroom. And then we need to make a toilet. This needs to be in its own room. So let's make it, I guess, uh, put it right over here against this wall and then build around that. <laughs> just put a bunch of windows in. You think that'd be comfortable? So just make a couple walls going this way. And then we'll put an X1 door in right there. That should make it like its own room. And looks like the toilet room is almost set up. There we go. Yep, we got a working toilet. We got 0 out of 10 dumps. And nice, we got a new spot over here made. So we need to set up, what, like four bedrooms then? That'll create optimal comfort. I think we might have enough room over here. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and make this just a bit larger. So I can get it like two more wide, but I think I can fit like all four bedrooms there. There we go. They're building away. I am on fast speed, but I mean, it's getting done. Look at that. It's not coming out nice. So if I put a bed at each side, yeah, I'll be able to wall it off. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Four beds. And then now let's make some walls. And we're going to separate the rooms off with some walls. Just like this. That looks good. Oh, no. I put an extra wall back here. There we go. That's four bedrooms. Then we're going to need to slap down four X1 doors. And there we go. 
Might have to build more walls eventually when we build more hall upgrades, but it's looking good. Look at this. We got the wall set up. We got our first bed. Gotta build lights so our crew can see. Yeah, that might be a bit important. So let's put some lights around here. I guess I'll put one on uh, the wall down here. I'll see how that uh, goes. Maybe I'll put another one somewhere else. Yeah, lights up some area. Build a kitchen or an algae dispenser. Okay, sweet. So I think let's try to build a kitchen down here. Probably right over here, like along this line. I'm not sure how big does the kitchen need to be. It is three wide. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's expand our hall down this way and we'll make a three wide room. Just like that. We can always add walls later. It's like every, if you're taking a break right now to eat. Shh. Yeah, grab a plate of food. Gonna go stand over here and eat it. There's nowhere really to eat right now. We don't have a dining room. We don't have like anything really set up other than the bare, bare essentials. At least now they got bedrooms and a toilet, though. I don't know what Tom Fuller's do. Oh, just idling. It's like, why, why is he standing near the toilet, not taking a dump? I think right now they're on break time, basically. They're all hanging out. Come on, guys, get back to work. They're all just loafing about. Okay, now they're gonna go to sleep. I guess there's not too much to do right now other than just stand around and talk. And, but everybody's like in a great mood, sleeping comfortably, feeling energetic, sleeping with privacy. That's giving them good moods. We definitely need to fix eating without a table. I know that's bad in like any game. Awake. I have been awake. <laughs> There's a minus six mood buff for being awake. I feel that, bro. Now it looks like everybody's waking up, going about, leisurely hanging out. It's six o'clock now, though, and they're going back to work. We're going to start construction on the hall. And while they're doing that, maybe I can get some other people to uh, go ahead and build some walls. I'll do like one right there, one right there, and then I need a door. And then in here, let's go ahead and build a kitchen. And, oh no, we can't build there? Fuck. Okay, let's uh add to the hall. I'll give it an extra space of room. Okay, now it's okay. So let's put down the kitchen right there. They're going to start building that, and that'll at least give us a food source. We have 18 days worth of food, and they're getting it built. Looking good. And we need to build a hall stabilizer. Hall stabilizers reinforce the spaceship's hull, strengthening its frame and generally improving structural integrity. And we could use multiple stabilizers at once as well. So let's do it, I guess. We'll set up a spot with a bunch of stabilizers. Maybe um like over here, I guess. I know we can build more, but for now, I don't want to deplete all of our resources yet. So now everybody's going to the storage and they're grabbing food and bringing it all the way over to the kitchen. You can see here, yeah, just putting it in the fridge and whatnot. Awesome. So now we have like a general location for that. They're getting started on the hall stabilizer. Everybody's just got to bring over the materials. And this should help protect us in case we get shot at or have any attacks happen. There we go. Unable to stabilize. Repair the ship or build more hall stabilizers. I think the ship is all right, but yeah, we probably just need more hall stabilizers. So I'm going to put another one over there, then maybe uh, I'll see how that does. And if we need it, I'll put one more. Now we need to establish water security. So a water collector reclaims water vapor from the air and condenses it back into liquid water. And wants us to place it near grow beds. As much as I'd love to throw it right here, <laughs> I know that's not what it means. That can't be what it means. Uh, I'll put it over here. And then we need a water purifier. So we'll go and we'll put that right beside it over here. Or maybe uh, right in front of this thing. Yeah, system core, we can do that. Hall stability achieved. HHS Opidus. Not sure what that means, but I'm guessing that's good. Oh, I see. We got 11 stability out of 1,678. So hopefully that doesn't overuse too many resources of ours. If worse comes to worse, we can dismantle it. I'm pretty sure with the normal difficulty set in I'm playing with, we should be able to get all of our resources back from dismantling. Okay, so we got a water collector. It's collecting water. Yeah, it's going up 55%, 70%. And now we need high capacity power. So if I look at this, oh, I can see. A small power node will provide a little bit of space. And what does a big one provide? Big one provides almost the entire ship. Yeah, I might just put that outside of a washroom. That's like perfect location for it. It doesn't cover the kitchen, but man, screw the kitchen. I think I'll put that right there and that will be good. There we go. Now we got some power hooked up. Now it's about time we get some more building blocks. In order to do that, we need to mine an asteroid. We gotta zoom out from our ship at a maximum level okay and see a couple asteroids over here if i click on it we can hit mine so let's go and do that 
Let's try to mine all of that energy, I'm, I guess. Uh, I'll put two out of four. I'll see what that does. Maybe it sends two people. Oh, yeah, somebody's mining it. So that's good. I've been going back over here. We need to transform ice into purified water. More water can be acquired by mining ice asteroids and purifying the ice with a water purifier. Okay. So maybe that's what we're getting over here. This an energium. I'm not sure. Oh, I see. There's an ice asteroid all the way over here. If I can go there and I can send someone to mine it. Yeah, mine all six asteroids. I guess that's what it's counting for. In the meantime, it might be a good idea to try to expand our hull. I'd like to expand this way out a little bit because I know we're going to have to use it eventually. Let's do a 16 by 6 there that'll expand the ship out and then two of our guys are going to go into pods and go do that now the next one is building a recycler transform scrap materials into a variety of useful resources releases heat and is noisy oh so we have to uh enclose it with walls and a spacesuit door so how big is that pretty big might want to build it over here i'm thinking once they get the next uh hall upgrade built i'll probably make a little room for it i want to put it on super speed as everyone sleeps and we're now on day three everybody needs a little bit of time to rest a little bit of time to hang out and more in time they get about an hour to hang out drink coffee go to the washroom then it's off to work and we're getting a hall built as fast as possible i want to get this recycler in oh no they're taking a break they gotta go to the washroom. What? The? <laughs> I can see Stella was trying to use the washroom, and a King just went over, and he's like in there at the same time. So in order to do this, we're going to need to enclose it off with walls. It is going to be quite a noisy and dangerous thing. So we need quite a bit of space, I think. All right, just this area over here. I'm gonna go one more out, maybe two. Uh. It'll go like this, give a room a little bit of uh, funk to it. And they're still building the outer layers, so I'll give it a moment. And yeah, there we go. Now we can place one more wall in right there. And that'll at least enclose that area off. And then we got to put a spacesuit door. Oh, no. Is that <laughs> We cannot build here. Okay, we might need to get rid of uh, some of these walls. Okay, so we build a spacesuit right there. I think we just need to uh, enclose. No, we don't enclose it. Let me figure this out. How what's going on here? Oh, I see. The door needs to be kind of like level with the room. So there we go. I put it there, and then I grab the walls, and yeah, connect it on the grid. That looks better. Now they at least have a tile to get over to this spot, and we can go and place our recycler. I'll go ahead and place it like right there. Oh no, we still need an extra wall. Let me put that in before the recycler gets built and turned on. There we go. And everybody goes in through the spacesuit door, and essentially, if it's, like, dangerous to work there, then they'll put on their spacesuit. But if it isn't, then they'll take it off. So now we have to equip our crew members. Select character and use the draft button at the lower part of a user interface. Okay, let's do it. So, we'll do that. Um, no, not surrender. Make this crew member surrender. <laughs> let's draft them, and we gotta right-click over our storage facility. We gotta go to pick up at the storage facility. So, this will allow us to... To equip something i want to put tom fullery uh with a shotgun oh we don't have enough weapon skill okay so i guess he'll use a pistol better than nothing i guess um then he can go on his merry way and live his life let me do the same with the other people before i forget and i get too carried away in the game stella you can get a pistol king can run over and they can yeah they can get a pistol and oh our last character is probably out mining yeah, they're over here mining, so I'll wait till he gets back, and then I'll equip him, of course, with a pix- Not a pixel, a pistol. I'll equip him with a pixel pistol, <laughs> so technically I was right, you know? Explore a derelict ship. Oh, ship entered sector, MF Angel's Wing. It can be dangerous to go alone. Consider an away team of more than one crew member. Oh, sweet, so there should be a ship in our area. Oh, yeah, there's a new one, too. Look at that. Uh, we got a minus four relationship with them, and they're called Angel's Wing. It just makes me feel like that that's an enemy for sure. Is PCS a Danbrog derelict ship, though? It looks, like, stickied, it's broken, there definitely could be some loot over there. So let's draft, I guess, Stella and Tom Foolery, and I want to get them to go on a shuttle, and I want them to move to, uh, spacesuit on... Oh, wait, that's not the shuttle. <laughs> this is the shuttle. Enter craft. Let's go. We'll send two of them out. And we should be able... Yeah, we can move it manually using the right mouse button. Look at that. I want to make sure I avoid that ship over there. I know they got some turrets set up on it, so we're not going to want to do that. But we can dock on this craft. Perhaps let's uh, dock here. 
are going to rise up and align themselves with the ship. It looks like it's pretty broken. And let's uh, exit the craft now. Oh, yeah, we're definitely dealing with some monsters. We gotta shoot that guy. Oh, no, we're not in range. We gotta go around the corner. Okay, nice. We're at least for a distance away. I think we destroyed some loot or something, but that's all right. Let's go through. Let's see. We got one data log and three items. Let's pick that stuff up. That was like some kind of monster on the ship. I'm not sure. Is there any gonna be much else on here? Oh no! Yeah, bug guy. Oh no, he's coming. He's coming, guys. Get him. Nice, nice. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Let's keep on moving through the ship, trying to find some loot. And okay, so we can float through space at least a little bit. That's good. Anything in here? Uh, not much. I think I saw an enemy going through here though. Oh yeah, there he is. Prepare yourselves, guys. Oh no. Ooh, we got an open wound now. That can't be good. Yo, look at this. New salvage available. Um, Let's continue drafted. I just got to make sure the ship is clear, I think. And then we can undraft everyone. Oh, no. Did we just shoot the wall? Let's go check out. Yeah, this other room is fine. So let's undraft. And where are they going? You must undraft your shuttle before it can transport salvaged resources to your ship. Ooh, okay. Let's undraft the shuttle. And there we go. That should be available. I think they're trying to go to bed. They're they're tired right now. I can't blame them. It's like 1 a.m. and they just fought all night. But going back to our other ship, I'll let them work over there for a bit. Wants us to build a few things. We need to build a navigation console. Okay. Um, and two Hyperium hyperdrives. I see. Navigation console is it's not too big, but it's a little bit of size. So maybe that's where I'll expand the hall. Go build the hall out even more, just down this way. And I'll have to probably set up more walls there, I think. Unless, uh, yeah, I don't think that kitchen counts. <laughs> I don't think this, the kitchen workplace, counts as a wall. Alright, I think they're going back home. Oh, wait, King of Corinth is still drafted? Oh, no, my bad, man, my bad. Oh, he's just been messing about. He's been standing there all night, too. David's the only one I need to, like, draft in the morning and send to get a weapon. Everyone else is probably cheese, though. They need some good night rest and to chill. Now, it's a new day, so let's select this, and we should be able to hit salvage now? Yeah. Let's go ahead and salvage anything we can. I then the transfer tab, but let's definitely transfer everything back to our ship. That gives us some more loot and some more stuff. I'm going to have David Forbes go and pick up a pistol, arm themselves with something, put in use, and there we go. And I got to remember to undraft. I got to make sure I do that after. Now, everybody else is going out into shuttles, I can see. We got the Gamble shuttle. It's picking up somebody right now. And yeah, they're going over to the other spacecraft. And look at this. They're salvaging all the materials around here. Automatically doing it, so that's awesome. Like, we saw there's some info scrap and stuff here. Ship left sector the ms uh angels nice okay i was getting really nervous about that ship there <laughs> i saw the name pop up on screen and i was like oh no what are they up to are they launching their attack now but we seem to be good everybody's getting materials they're now starting on the new hall upgrade so we can build the navigation console i think that room should be big enough for it let's go navigation console and yeah we can put that in right there and then we need to build two Hyperium hyperdrives. These I need to put on the outside of a ship. Okay. And they kind of come on into the ship. So I would believe the best course of action would be to like make my hull a bit bigger. I don't know too much about the game, but I'm guessing because we have this length that we can build out to. I'll try it out, you know, like uh, I'll put like a little area here that I could place them down, but I'll try to put them at like the very edge. Everybody's getting materials, dropping it off. Looks good. I like the speed settings too. Like the first speed, obviously way more immersive. You can see everybody actually doing stuff. But then the fast speed too, speed stuff up at a great pace like so far. And I can still see what's going on, you know? I'll let them build that all the way out as much as they can. And I'll see if I can uh, drop those off the edge of a ship. We still got nowhere to relax. I've been seeing that all game. So I hope we can set up somewhere for everybody to relax soon. Look, they're all fighting over the washroom right now. Or maybe they were talking in there i guess that's the only place to hang out so they got such a lack of serotonin and excitement like the only excitement they got is getting to watch each other take a shit at the end of the day 
that's pretty that's pretty gnarly dude <laughs> but we do got more logs like we got a data log from there i think that was the uh tranquility where the wind takes us personal log first entry and that is a bunch of lore which i won't bore you with right now maybe we'll read it later on if someone really wants i'm gonna go into our recycler as well and put some continuous jobs to get rid of all those resources because it'll break them down into products and that'll be way more useful we can actually do stuff with that on our ship we got 41 days of auction now i mean hey that looks pretty good i love seeing it man oh i need to build a door on the navigation console but then after that that room will be complete there we go new door right there and we do not have any steel plates we need more steel plates yeah i guess we ran out of those fast by uh using them all up on the hull stabilizer but that's okay they're still working on the other ship cleaning stuff up gathering scrap and whatnot and that'll give us some more resources for our ship of course now that we have this extension going on over here let me try to build the two hyperium drives now oh yeah i can place them on there so i think that's going to be the ideal strategy we put one right there we put one right there critical resources low oh shoot we're low on a hall block so hopefully we'll create some more of those in the recycler soon but this will at least complete the next task and oh no we need to uh increase the temperature and set on a high capacity grid so um we might need another large power node like over here or i could just put a small power node in and i would do this area damn man I, I don't know where to put it right now i guess it doesn't matter too much <laughs> you know i guess i'll put it right there and the other area that we built also is in a bad environment so we need to build thermal regulators water collectors and gas scrubbers no no we already got a thermal regulator is broken that isn't cool object not on a high capacity grid oh shoot is that a small power node wait yeah no that'll transfer electricity it just hasn't been built yet <laughs> everybody's getting up now though it's the start of day six they've got lots of stuff to repair lots of stuff to fix around the base it's looking pretty hectic and there we go we're getting a power set up and right now the only yeah temperature everything got fixed nice now the only thing left here is hazardous uh, gases temperature water vapor hazardous smoke probably going to want to expand this room out a bit just put in those extra things that i need and probably want to expand start to expand at least that area reason being that we need to set up a new uh communications and point to fest system. i broke there dude I, I like swallowed my own tongue for a second <laughs> gotta get that point defense system set up you know what i mean like uh right now we are doing pretty rough on resources though we're low on the hall blocks which isn't good oh wait recycler is now not toxic though that part's at least good but i am going to want to build a wall start to separate this area off from everything again there we go and i think they should almost be done salvaging this ship they've been going at it for a few days now okay wait maybe we didn't need to make this room bigger like the problem seems to be fixed now perhaps it was just something that was broken i'm not quite certain right now but i'll figure it out one day and as we enter the start of day seven i mean it's looking pretty good other than the low resources for hall blocks if we can complete that and then set up some walls get the communication center set up we'll be set i do want to see uh yeah okay i guess the wall there's still walls in there that's why the auction isn't fleeting out through these holes everybody's going to go do their own thing they're mining recycling building we almost got this part of a hall set up which is awesome i think i'm gonna start with the uh operations console I'll put one like right there and then we'll space out some walls down here little door entrance and just like that we got another room you know put a door of course but it's looking pretty good new part of a ship is set up and we're getting the communications set up now what about the point defense turret we need to build some of these and i believe we build these on top i'm not quite sure honestly i want to put one down over here and i'll see what happens with it maybe it appears on top i'm not sure I really do not feel confident with that. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'll just put it down right here beside the thing, actually. See if that works. At least it's out of the way for now. Now, it says there's something going on with this room again. There's hazardous gases, so I'm not quite sure if we can fix that in there. I would like to figure it out if we can. One of those water collectors we need a thermal regulator and maybe a gas scrubber yeah there's a lot of co2 in here so let's put one of these in or maybe just put it right beside that guy and maybe i'll take away these for now i'll see if that fixes it because i believe that's it there's co2 in that room yeah yeah no that did fix it 
Okay, we're in the money. And there we go. We got the turret built. Oh, <laughs> yeah, of course, we need an energy source. Uh, why Why wouldn't we, you know? Not enough free uh, system points on this ship. Oh, no. Okay, so maybe I'll duplicate that for now. Or, hmm. I'm not quite sure. Uh, for now, I guess we just won't have a functioning turret. Let's start to build a research lab. I can at least set one of those up. And I might actually set one of them up, like, right over here. Um, I cannot place a wall right there, but I can can right here maybe even down here in this corner would be good let me put a research lab and i want to put a research workbench i'll put it right there give it a little bit of space in between and then i'm going to wall it off just like that i'll put a door and that'll be a good room that is in the power grid thankfully so Oh, half of these, half of this thing is not on power grid either. Damn. Oh, okay. So I can move the turret. Let's maybe just move it to the other side for now. I got my science room set up. Execute a hyperspace jump. Open up the systems menu located up the upper left part of the user interface and give a command to prepare for a hyperspace jump. Okay. Let's see. So we're going to go to the next star system. Right now, we are in Vitaros Lax Expanse, and there are a lot of different places to go to. Some of them controlled by pirates, others controlled by governments, others, I think, are free. Like, the place that we're at right now, I don't know if anyone really owns this place right now. But I want to prepare for a hyperspace jump. Mining pods are getting recalled, and shuttles are getting restricted. And we are at 2200 extra mass, but we kind of need to move. We gotta get out of here. We're low on critical resources, so I want to set it to auto. I think everybody should go to their uh, locations. All right, I think we're ready to jump. Let's do it. And we're going. Let's go over to the next system right here. And let's drop on in. We'll see what's here. So we got a sector. There's undeployed. And then there's a, uh, I guess just a sector itself. There's a ship over here, so... Maybe I'll place my ship a little bit near it, like right there. Then we'll deploy. And let's see. Yeah, we got a ship. There's a group of star systems known as the star system clusters. Travel between the star systems in this cluster by jumping to hyperspace from the systems menu. Now, that I think we got to do when we're ready. Right now, we need to go get more resources. So I'm going to get uh, David and Stella. I'm going to draft them, and I'm going to send them over to the ship or the craft. Get them in there, and then we're going to move the ship out and let's go over to this other ship i guess we got a dock over here environment condition smoke oh no what is smoking around here I'm not sure but we might need to put a co2 thing over here definitely need to i think <laughs> Let's put it right over here that has 32 co2 and docking complete let's exit the craft and start to explore oh there's a bad guy right there there we go got one let's keep on moving around just explore the ship until we make sure that it's all clear once it's clear when yeah we just get everybody to loot it oh no get that bug guy nice nice okay let's go to the next room some more loot in here anything in here i think it'd be your best bet to like open every door Let's make sure there's no bad guys lurking about. The ship is pretty big, though. We're about halfway through. Hopefully, there should be, like, a lot of good loot in here. And, oh, yeah, we got three items over here. Let's pick those up. Credits, credits, and credits. Nice. And, oh, no. Get them. Get them, guys. Oh, jeez. We're getting attacked. We got open wounds. David's down. We got to give him oxygen. Oh, another guy coming. Oh, no. Come on, Stella. <gasps> no. Oh no, they both fell. Okay, let's go dock back at our ship and let's grab our other two guys. Harold, King, things are really bad right now. I need to draft you guys. You guys gotta go. That was not good, man. We kind of just walked into that one. Let's enter the craft and let's go and save our guys. We can't let them die like that. Hopefully we got enough time to. I mean, they both, I think, have a lot of health, but they ran out of oxygen or something. Let's click to dock at a selected craft. And oh, no, they're both got low condition. Oh, Stella's back up. They're back up. They're back up. Okay, under attack. Kill him, quick, before he comes. Get him, Stella. <gasps> Okay, nice, nice. Stella got it. We got our other guys on the ship as well. I want to send them over as fast as possible. And we can pick up the body of Stella. Let's go back to the shuttle. I want to send them back to it because, uh, yeah, they've had enough of that. Oh, no! Another bug. Quick, guys, quick, quick. Get in here. Okay, let's drop uh, Stella. I think King of Corinth has some oxygen. 
Oh, they gotta give it to uh, Stella, not David. Now, King of Corif doesn't have much oxygen. They gotta go back to the shuttle. And same with Stella. I'm gonna have Stella grab some oxygen as well. Tom Foolery should likely be able to explore the rest of his place as long as he doesn't get ganged up on. Jeez, this room's all bloody now. Um, let's see. I don't see many more guys. Oh shit, Stella passed back out. We gotta pick her up and give her oxygen. We probably just gotta carry them back to the shuttle or something. Oh no. More bugs. Come on, Tom Fullery, get them. D did the bugs sneak out? Did it go away? I don't know where it went. Unless we killed it. Let's go find the last area. Yeah, there's bug in here. I see him. I saw him through a window, so he turned the corner and went over here. So that's the last one, I think. Let's pick up Stella with King of Corinth, and we're going to bring her back to the ship. Let's go drop her in the ship. And get him, Tom Fullery. Come on. There we go. We got hit a few times, but that's okay. And new salvage available. Okay, so we're going to undraft all. Everyone is now undrafted. And of course, we're going to want to take all of this stuff and transfer whatever is here. And that should put everybody back on their normal duties, because uh, I think we spent like a full day there. <laughs> It was at least like pretty close to nighttime or bedtime for somebody when we were getting here. So everybody's probably exhausted. Needs to go back to the ship. Tom Foolery, I have to draft so I can pick up uh David. Oh no, Tom Foolery fell. Fuck. Let's go pick them up. King of Corif, pick up Tom Foolery. Stella, pick up uh David. Now can everybody move to the ship, please? Yeah, dock the selected craft, please. I don't know why it was undocked. Okay, everybody get back in. Enter craft and. Oh, no, there we go. Everybody's back. Let's go home. What a trip. Wow, that was close. Now, everybody's back. King of Corinth is sleeping on the floor. They're just exhausted, I think. Same with David. Everybody's pretty cheesed from that battle, too. They're all hurting, hungry, etc. Stuff needs to be repaired. Ugh, everything here is going, <laughs> going down, man. And there we go. Morning time. Everybody's getting up, getting food. They're healing themselves. That was a crazy night, I think, for everybody. <laughs> But they're going to go and start exploring soon, taking the shuttle back out over to the other ship and going to start picking up materials, bringing them back, which is really good because we're low on a lot of stuff right now. David's back with the first load, unloading it into the storage, and then going back out for another one. There's lots of stuff to grab here. Lots of loot. Looks like most of these abandoned ships are taken over by aliens or something, or maybe aliens just started growing there. I have no idea. Either way, some dark stuff has happened there. Hopefully, that doesn't happen to our ship. <laughs> our ship's looking a lot better so far. Now, we need to start to get some other stuff going. Like, uh, apparently we have no entertainment. There's nothing to do here. Maybe let's put some, uh, like, decorative screens up. Give people some pictures to look at. Maybe that'll make them a bit happier. I know we gotta do more than that. That's pretty lame. <laughs> Maybe we'll make a room to eat finally. If I can expand the hall a bit this way, I could do that. Let's do, yeah, just a little dining area over here would be perfect. We're gonna start building that. Because all we really need is like a few tables and chairs and we'll be set. Everybody will have at least an area to go eat their food. And now I'll go ahead and build some walls just like this. That blocks off that room. And we can put a chair in here. Let's put a wall light. And of course we got to put some chairs in here. Like four of them. I think I mean table. I think I said we <laughs> put chairs twice. And then I'll put a green wall uh, right there. Give them something nice to look at. Then let's go ahead and place another door. Let's see. King of Corinth just ate at a table and uh, had a great meal, but it still says eight without table. What the heck? Chairs are placed of a right direction. I think that might just be from the day before. Yeah, likely from the day before. The average mood right now is 20. 20. Jeez. Seems like everybody's pretty pissed off with crawler bites and no entertainment. Minor discomfort. I get it. Oh, shoot. That chair over there is like unreachable. Damn, okay, I might need to fix that eventually. Risk of mental breaks. Oh no, man. What's bothering David Forbes? Crawler bite mainly. Well, that's going down slowly. I mean, they're gonna have to get over it. Crawler bites suck, but uh, I didn't know they suck that much. Wow. I guess I'd be pretty cheesed and upset too, though. You got bit by an alien monster. Like, let me expand the hall a little bit. Um, Maybe I'll just, I'll just make it like an extra one out. That should fix that problem, I think. The mood is slowly going up. It's going up to 29. People are starting to get over the crawler bites. I think that's the main source of our uh, panic. 
And a new research technology has now been established. Nice. Let's start another one. I'm probably going to want to go into that autopsy table. I'll research that. Evan will research uh, fibers and botany too. And <laughs> damn, dude, we, we got to move a green wall or else we can't like uh, do anything. Yeah, we got to take down that X1 wall, I guess. And then that should at least give us room to that spot. There we go. We can't get into that corner, but that's okay. Now if I go to food, yeah, I can see grow beds. We can make a huge grow bed down here. If we need to be uh, in a room, requires water and suitable temperature, light, and CO2 levels. Yeah, enclosed room. I could do uh, two normal grow beds with lights. That, like one right there, and a uh, probably one over here because I'm going to need to wall it off. Just like this. Yeah. And then I put a door in right here. And now we need light. Do a wall light in the middle there. And then we're going to do... Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how this is. It might be good with this like in little room. But I'll see. So everybody gets up and they're doing their daily duties. Hanging out. Drink some coffee. And then get to work. Yeah, we're getting science done. Somebody's at a research lab. Other people are processing materials. They're starting to build. And oh no... Oh no, we trapped David Forbes back there. We can't do that. Can you not build a wall on the other side? Damn, no, he can't. He just gets stuck every time. All right, time for maybe a little hall upgrade. I can always just uh, even expand the room out and then we can make like a little corridor or something. There we go. And damn, we're gonna have to and dismantle the wall light. And shit, man, that thing is still unreachable. Okay, new design. We're gonna take away uh, that one get rid of that one and we'll dismantle some walls we're just gonna cut it off like down here instead just like this little experimental small grow room and in here we can decide to grow something we have two beds let's grow some fruits and then let's grow some nuts and seeds oh we need batani five to do nuts and seeds damn we need botany four to do fruits fuck what about vegetables? We can start with vegetables. That looks okay. Oh, it's something. At least it's a food source, you know? We'll, we'll get better food sources in time. Incoming ship next turn. Ooh, that's scary. But with that, it brings us to the middle of day 14. I think that's where I'm going to end off this first video on the game. My first impressions on it are, it's pretty fun, honestly. I kind of want to crank this into like a series or an ongoing thing. So if you like this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and check out any of my other content on the channel or my social medias. As always, though, I want to just thank you guys for watching and supporting me. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.